Eloise Bridgerton. Go on then. Chastise me. Spare one for me. I desire something different. How do you mean? Just different. I watched Daphne prepare for these balls with all of those dresses and the many suitors, and I am exhausted. Suppose I want a different life than I do. And I truly believe I am quite capable of something more, even when I am not allowed to have any friends. Then I would say that you're not the only one. Are you spying on me now? <laughs> you would actually have to be interested in his brother spying on you. The drawings in that sketchbook were abominable. I cannot stand to look at them. I believe that is why they call it a sketchbook. I write in my diary, which is not the same as writing in my novel. Oh, <laughs> it must be so very difficult to want something and not Hello, be able to get it. If you enjoy drawing but need practice, then practice. Hire a drawing master. Find a young lady to act in press. If you desire the sun and the moon, all you have to do is go out and shoot at the sky. Some of us cannot. Look no further than Lady Whistledown. She possesses a huge talent for writing, and yet she must hide away and publish under a false name. Yes, because if anyone knew who Whistledown truly was, she'd be strung up for what she said. That is not my point. Whistledown is a woman. Therefore, she has nothing. And still, she writes. You are a man, therefore you have everything. You are able to do whatever you want. Do it. Be bold. It's that way I can live vicariously through. Eloise? Are you Lady Whistledown? Are <laughs> you an accomplished writer? Always scribbling in that diary of yours, and you certainly know everyone else's business. You're more opinions than anyone else I know in London. You'd have my full support and admiration either way, sister. So? Is it you? No. Though if it were, do you honestly think that I'd admit it? <laughs> <laughs>